welcome to my youtube channel it's gospel everyday youtube channel and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe welcome to this channel and i pray that at the end of this video you will be blessed to the extent that you share this video comment and like it so let us get right into the video today i'm going to be talking about the price of life now um i just want to share a story about what I've been learning recently. So I think that we will all agree that as Christians, we also make sacrifices. Like the world also engages in some things like this, that they make sacrifices to get something. Just like politicians, business people. In business, we always say that you have to make sacrifices if you want your business to grow and okay i'm not talking about business and politics and nigeria or yeah i'm talking about jesus jesus paid a sacrifice for us on the cross so that we could live and today my topic is the price of life the price of life is death just like jesus died on the cross didn't just come came to die so that we would live it is the same way that if we want life we must die <laughs> now i'm not saying that you should die i'm saying you should die to sin die to self don't worry i'm going to explain that to you let's take our text for today our text is going to be from Colossians chapter 2 from verse 11 to 12 and it says in him you were also crucified with a circumcision not made with hands but by the spiritual circumcision of Christ in the stripping off of the body of the flesh having been buried him buried with him in baptism and raised with him through your faith in the working of God as displayed when he raised Christ from the dead. Okay, I think I should take this steady so that you would understand what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that in him, you were also circumcised. It is not just like circumcision of by what they do to guys or what they really do to girls. It's a circumcision of removing away sin. NLT version says, hurting sin away from yourself. I paraphrase. And when you you are in christ you you circumcise yourself of everything you cut away from everything that would lead you to sin that is what this bible passage is saying so if you want to rise in life if you want life the price that you have to pay is a price of debt just like you want money you sorry you want to you want fruit you have to sow if you want to reap you have to sow whatever you reap is what you will sow so as a christian if you want to if you want life if you want light if you want goodness if you want joy the sacrifice you have to make is a sacrifice of death one is killing sin that means circumcising yourself of all of those things that doesn't glorify god and the second thing is dying to yourself. Usually I learned from Apostle Joshua Selman recently is that we have to totally surrender. Most Christians, they surrender everything except their finances. So they did not really surrender everything because they have not totally surrendered. Until you come to a place of total surrender, you cannot rise. Life with Christ is not a life of guru, baba, guru, now we that in English. It's not a life of rushing and jumping process. You have to follow the process. Okay? First of all, before we, when we come into Christ, we rip ourselves of every sin. And the second step is to rip ourselves off ourselves. Like, don't think of yourself anymore. Think of Jesus. Think of what pleases Him. Surrender your will to him, your decision, your actions, your thoughts. I think sometimes you like to think of that nonsense thing. Those things that doesn't glorify. You can't be thinking of how you want to poison somebody. I don't know. You can be thinking of how you want to commit sin. But Jesus is telling you today 
that you should surrender your heart to him so that he would he would make that heart pure for him if you want to rise in life you have to die to sin you have to die to self if you have not learned anything today from this video i want you to learn that number one thing in rising as a christian one sacrifice that you must make is the sacrifice of cutting away sin and the second is total surrender you have to deny yourself of some certain things deny yourself of your whole self of those things that your flesh wants to do and be spiritually minded the book of Romans chapter 8 says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life I don't know what you want to choose the choice is yours life or death the power of life and death is in your tongue and it's in your hand God will always give you the choice to make give you the power of choice to make so we we as Christians sometimes we limit ourselves and we have not got into that level that God wants for us because of we we we, we love ourselves so much and we are selfish but God is saying give it all to me I don't know how many of you have been tired of that level where you are right now I just want you to say I give myself away you just have to give it all to Jesus give it all to him and let him take charge of your thoughts of your actions of your decisions don't just leave Nigeria because you want to leave Nigeria is it God's will for you don't just jump into that relationship because you feel like it ask from God always seek his face not his hands I think I'm, I'm saying a lot and I think that we have gotten the point I pray that you are blessed by this and God helps you to deny yourself from the things that won't bring glory to him from the things that won't make you rise it's for your own good most of the things we do as Christians it's for our own good I just want to pray that the Lord will help us to pay the price to pay the price in Jesus mighty name Amen God bless you I hope you subscribe and you like this video and you give a nice comment I mean your girl your girl